this is the uh, playing field, as you call it, playing field. Uh, I stood on playing field. It used to be a rugby playing field, but uh, basically it became a bog. But uh, kids still come and play on it. See, if you can see, there's the old school there. Was bought by uh, a private uh, customer, I suppose, as <laughs> you call them. Um, there are the mountains behind that. Like, um, wait a minute now. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? That one there on the edge is was right, and then they go along. I can't remember the names of them, I'll have to put them on video. But the Black Mountain, which is a famous mountain, is over that way. These are the foothills of the Brecon Beacons. And over that way is the Brecon Beacons. So, any bridge and uh, places like that. So, so fantastic. There's the uh, tennis courts, the kids' park. And, uh, yeah, right on my doorstep. Lovely. There's a place of interest behind us. This year we got the tennis courts. And then this hill here behind the tennis courts, there's a big slide going down it. <laughs> it's called the Tumpin. Locally known as the Tumpin. And apparently, according to form, it's um, prehistoric. It's um, sand, it's all made of sand. So it's prehistoric sand. It's, uh, it was where a beach that well, was just, you know, thousands of feet below got brought up. Um, when the, uh, the earth crusts were crashing together. Oh yeah, the Tumpin. It's called the Tumpin. Uh, there's some, they've built some steps going up it. The, uh, there's a few occasions where the council have tried to sell it off to build in firms. a sand. But the people stand together up here. Same as the playing field. The playing field they tried uh, a few years ago to sell the playing field off. And our tennis court. A lot of people train their dogs in there. It's good to keep the dogs safe. But, uh, there's the old school again, which again, my, myself and my wife were interested in buying, but uh, unfortunately, it uh, wasn't really put on the market properly. And uh, you know, somebody bought it. I don't know. There's uh, some flowers on the ground there. I don't know what's, uh, what's happened there. Um, but. Uh, Lovely view of the mountains. Gwen, come away from there now. Gwen, come away from there. There's the mountains up there. Up there is uh, Slinavan, is behind these mountains up here. This is the top of the Tumpin. And this is all sand. And uh, it's a funny story that uh, somebody tried to build something up here once apparently. And it's, uh, uh, the structure they built sank. Because it's, uh, like I said, it's sand underneath. And somebody brought the JCB up here once, and that sank too. But, uh, you know, well, I will really. But, uh, something interesting, local event, local, local interest anyway, so yeah. I'm heading down to, uh, for a while now. Um, where the old wash really was. So, have a look at that. Um, just get down these steps. These are uh, quite old steps here. There's a. Uh, find out the history behind these, and, uh, better go down to a, a road down there, and then there's a footpath that comes down back. And yourself, this is the block the other end. I've showed the, the fence that the council have, um, council have put up to say that uh, when you all head be it if you uh, if you hurt yourself coming down here. But uh, that's the other end of this footpath. So I'm going to head down this way now to the uh, the old wash. We have a look at it. There's a small ruin of a, a building there as well. We'll have a look at that as well. Okay. Brilliant. So they've decided to block this end of the road off as well, even though. Um, it's quite some distance over there to uh, the the other end of the path, and obviously I know the other end of the path is blocked off. So that's uh, that's Andy. Hi. <laughs> Road's closed. Well, I don't know what I think of that. Anyway, we're heading down to Pong. Well. Uh, like I said, the other end of this path is uh, quite some distance away, and I know it's blocked off the other end, so I'm not going to go back that way. But I'm going to walk down to the uh, place down here now. We're the uh, other side of the Tilt River now. We're usually over there, that's the path going down the woods there. I usually take one down. Um, 
is the uh, opposite side now and we're heading up to uh, Cornwall there's a path that goes along uh, some private property here which uh, there's like, signs on the fence both saying keep your dog on lead keep your dog on lead you know because uh, they've got uh, loads of livestock on the land as you can see there it's a private garden not even a farm there we go just heading down the bank now to Cornwall um, there's a small ruin of a maybe a, an old farmhouse uh, just up by here if I can step on this log so I'm going to look at that first and I'm going to go down to the river then I'm going to there oh, man. I'm going to look at me um, stones off the building on the floor and here's part of the wall the structure I know there was a there used to be a lot of um, the old willow tree is this a willow tree? looks like a willow tree no there's the willow tree uh, the big old tree right smack bang in the middle of this uh, um, the ruins of the building, it's, uh, I think it's the wall there and then uh, going into the corner there so uh, lots of ruins in these woods it's, uh, what else think? What else, uh, could have been left behind I found some uh, interesting bits and bobs in these woods but uh, not a lot because I haven't uh, had my uh, metal detector with me but uh, this, uh, I think first up I guess like, I guess an old uh, metal fence post there like it's, uh, it's quite short it's, uh, I think it's a fence post or maybe a cable tie because um, there's the washery down there washery down there from they call it it's a really deep pool it says let's get down there and show you uh, yeah. get down there now there these uh, brambles there we go lovely big pool you can see all the waste uh, the waste, uh, coal waste and shale and stuff coming down these banks and I think these entire banks are made of uh, the stuff to be honest. Gwen, get down off here. Right. But it's a big pool. Go down, go on, go down. Go down, Gwen. But, uh, really deep big pool. I've been swimming in here myself. It's a uh, cracker of a pool. Gwen, come down here. Do you want to go down? Do you want to go down? Go on, go down. Go the water. Go on then! <laughs> These are huge boulders. But, uh, it's, it's a stunning river. We go up this way. Um, there's a fire here, look. Sandy. But, uh, really deep pool. You could jump off this wall and. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend diving in, but you could probably jump in. It's, uh, you can see the wall goes in on both sides. You can see the shape on this wall. It goes in along uh, and along. And then back in. And the wall the other side is exactly the same. So I'm not sure. Something sticking out the ground there. If uh, in the past there was a wheat water, oh, it's a little yellow egg tail going up there. I did a film of um, a dipper before up on this um, up on this uh, little waterfall area. Again, you can see the, the rivers cut through the rock rather than through the la the, the um, have loads of small stones like over there. It's actually cut through the rock again. The rivers cut through the rock, and they've used the natural flow then right here to create this. Um, yeah, but I think there was probably a bridge here maybe to take the stuff that they were mining up there but uh, it's, uh, it's back into it it's, uh, it's very deep we could jump off this wall into there but not by here obviously it's very shallow don't be, don't be here very very deep pool um, uh, funny, funny thing is I've never seen any fish in this pool it's really deep and there's loads of overhangs on the bottom of the pool but I've never seen any fish in it further up I've seen fish but not here but uh, there we go. This is a beautiful area. I'm going up on the bloody wall again. Uh, go ahead and get down now. Down, Gwen. But uh, there we go. Going well. Uh, said I showed you. But there we go. <laughs> ah, a lovely view. And there we have uh, the first chem trail I've seen in uh, a while, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a shame we've had uh, a good. Uh, well, nearly two weeks, clear sky. Let's just hope they uh, 
you know, they haven't got enough money to do what they've been doing to us for the last uh, few years. Well, you know, since the 1950s really, but uh, there we go. But, uh, I don't know. A little one, I suppose, but like I said, it's the only one, but I just hope they don't start again. Because it's been, uh, it's been good lately. Anyway, I'll see you next time.